Hi, students in science today. We are going to be able to understand how the environmental conditions affect plants. So what do you notice is happening in this photograph? If you want to think about it for a few seconds, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, if you said this is a dandelion and the seeds are spreading out in the wind, you are exactly right. The wind takes the seeds all around and wherever they land, it only if the temperature and everything is just right, that's when germination will begin. And that takes about 14 to 21 days. But wherever the seeds go, they might not grow a plant there. Everything has to be just right for that seed. So how seeds move. In the North Hemisphere, September is when launching time is for the offspring from plants in the world. Plants do this in the form of seeds, but how do they move? Plants have five primary ways for moving their seeds, and we're gonna find out those five right now. So the first one is by gravity. Some pl plants simply let their seeds, they just fall to the ground. That's it. The seeds just drop to the ground. Next is by animals. So one way for a seed to move far away from the parent is to have them hitch a ride on an animal. Plants use this method often have seeds covered with barbs or sticky mucus, perfect for attaching to unsuspecting passerby. So if the seed is like sticky or have something that um, will help it hold on to an animal, it just attaches to animals and it just moves around that way. Some seeds, particularly the particularly those surrounded by tasty fruit, they hitch a ride in the digestive system of animals. So animals eat them, but the hard coating of the seed allows them to pass through um, the digestive system and emerge at the other end, if you can imagine what that means. And they come out undamaged. Some plants, mostly nut trees, simply allow their seeds to drop to the ground. These seeds are then carted away by squirrels, jay, blue jays, other animals. They're eaten, others are forgotten. So some are dropped to the ground and they're ate by animals. And then some are able to grow into plants away from their parent. The next one is air. Anyone who has made a wish on the dandelion flower, just like the picture, in the front that we talked about, like the dandelion, the wind takes the seeds away. There's also a variety of design plants that, that have been developed to harness the wind staggering. There are maple keys that are like up here. They spin and fly. Cottonwood seeds that float gently down and dandelion seeds, they fly like little tiny parachutes. If the wind is just right, seeds from these plants can travel hundreds of miles. It's a big gamble though. Most seeds do not fall in suitable growing locations. This is why plants that use wind, they have more seeds. It means that plants who use the wind to disperse their seeds, they have more. Like this dandelion has a lot of seeds because the wind is gonna carry it through. Next is water. So plants in beach areas often have water to move their offspring. These plants produce seeds that float. So this right here is a coconut seed and it's floating and wherever it might float and land, the water carries it away, hopefully to a suitable growing location. This dispersal method explains how islands have vegetation similar to the land even though it's miles away. The last one is the launching or mechanical. Probably the most entertaining of seed dispersal methods is mechanical. Some plants have developed the ability to launch their seeds away from the parent plant. These plants build up tension in their tissue, much like a catapult stores energy in a rope. At just the right moment, the tension is released and the seeds are flung. What a way to send off their kids. 
So we have learned five ways that seeds move by gravity, animals, air, water, the launching method. So those are the five different ways seeds can move. The last thing, how seeds travel. What are the conditions a seed must overcome to germinate? So there are conditions when the seeds are traveling in different locations. Oops. There are heat damages, the heat damages the seed. If there's cold snow, the snow there's no soil or warmth. The ocean, there's not soil or nutrients. The desert, there's no water or nutrients for the seed. Um, so all of these things makes it hard for the seeds to actually germinate or to grow a plant. They could be eaten by animals or acorns or nuts. And then after sprouting, they could be stepped on if stepped on land is clearly picked. So it's really important that the conditions of the seed um, are just right for a plant to grow. And all of these things will damage, <clears throat> will not help, will not damage, but will not let the seed grow into a plant if the conditions are not just right. Okay, so I'm gonna make an exit ticket and you can complete that. Thank you.